Right now, the radar very quiet, not only in southwest Florida, but across the entire state from the Panhandle all the way through the Florida Keys. That will change here as we get closer towards Wednesday night into Thursday as the next cold front begins to approach. In the meantime, you look at this afternoon, a lot of sunshine through the late morning and early afternoon hours as our winds start to turn a little more out of the south. That's going to increase our humidity and also allow our temperatures to get up into the upper 80s later on and a little more cloud cover along the Seabreeze front out near the lake later on this afternoon. Our average low this time of year is 61 and this morning we've got 70s on the map from the Cape all the way through Sanibel with upper 60s from Pagefield through Naples. So we are running rather warm here this morning and then compared to where we were yesterday, we're up roughly about four degrees from Immokalee all the way up through DeSoto County. Dew point values are in the low to mid 60s and this is what we use to measure how much humidity is in the air and right now we're kind of halfway up the muggy meter at the tolerable level, but today we'll start to notice those numbers climb up even more as it gets closer to 70 and that's brief because that cold front Thursday is going to knock that humidity back down, setting the stage for a gorgeous Easter weekend. We'll get there in just a moment, but that wind is the story here today as it's already a little gusty this morning in the uh, low to mid teens and you look at the direction here. This is the wind gust forecast more southeast early, then it's going to be south in the afternoon. We'll see it gust over 20 miles per hour and this is going to increase that humidity pretty quickly today. Our average is 82. The record on this date just a few years back in 2020 when we reached 93 degrees. So we're definitely going to continue our streak of warm weather here through Thursday. And you can see on the board today 86 to 87 degrees with some areas such as Punta Gorda approaching 89 to 90. And then you factor in the increase in humidity overnight. We get even warmer. We'll be in the upper 60s to around 70 tomorrow. Ahead of that cold front, you see that warmth surging in across the Tennessee Valley, but it's cold enough on the back side of that low. We've got snow in parts of Iowa and Minnesota again this morning, and that line of showers and storms goes all the way down through Mississippi and Alabama. As we look ahead here at the uh, next couple of days, all sunshine here today, and then tomorrow you can start to see that front moving through the northern parts of the Gulf. A little more concentrated rain up around the Big Bend tomorrow, and as that line approaches us, it breaks apart here on Thursday, so not real impressed with the rain, but there'll definitely be some showers around. Here's a little closer look at Thursday, and you can see at lunchtime, isolated shower, maybe a thunderstorm, and then that front clears through late afternoon and evening. That's going to bring in that drier air, and you can see it here in the seven day forecast as we'll see the temperatures upper 70s for two days. We'll be a little sunny and breezy there on Friday, but with low humidity, our overnights to fall back into the mid to upper 50s, and right now Easter Sunday looks nice with a high of 82.